when it comes to AR and VR and AI and IoT and all those other neat acronyms that I can only remember four of, um, what, for, for us customer experience guys, what really should we be getting excited about right now? What possibilities should really be uh, turning us on right now? So I think there's two major ones. Um, I think blockchain is going to have a massive implication in everything we do from a customer service perspective as well. I think we're going to be able to um, to better host our own um, customer service journey. You know, um, right now Facebook, you know, has all our data, and we we get you know the privilege of using Facebook for free or Google for that matter. And for that, they try to give us better and better services, things that anticipate what we want and that you know deliver us better ads and that sort of thing. But I think in the future, you're going to have blockchain running a lot of your personal digital. Um, trail and for that you're going to be able to be rewarded for being marketed to and i think you know uh, if you combine blockchain with with artificial intelligence and you can deliver you can start to deliver highly personalized um interactions for people and give them give them things they're looking for before they even look for them that's i think predictive um predictive customer service is going to be big so one of the biggest things that, that we need to change as society, and this is something that, that we need to kind of look at as society, is that our medical system, for example, is rewarded for treating people when they're sick. What if we rewarded them for keeping people healthy and decrease their pay when people got sick? Ooh. Right? Now, same with customer service. What if we reward the system for keeping people happy rather than, you know, like preemptively how can we make your your thing better rather than a customer calling and going, hey, I'm mad because this didn't work out. I don't know how that flips. And I know I'm, I'm certainly only one person with this. But if you kind of flip your mind around, you know, instead of being treating the problem, maybe creating the solution before the problem exists is where we should be looking in customer service. So, yeah, I, I completely agree. And it's um, the more progressive sort of customer centric companies do think in those sorts of ways. So for example, they'll extend the scope of the experience. So in the, in the medical example, they won't look at the experience when somebody enters the, the medical facility, they'll extend it out and look, okay, well, what was the thing that made them ill in the first place? And can we fix that before they get there being proactive? But yeah. it is understanding that that outcome of wellness for that person, not the outcome isn't to get better, the outcome is to be well. And if you can achieve that outcome in the beginning to stop them getting ill, then, of course, that's that's far better. And of course, our system doesn't pay for that. Pharmaceutical mm -hmm. companies don't make money no. treating people if they or keeping people healthy because the system was designed differently. Exactly. Doctors don't get paid to keep you healthy. They, keep, they get paid to fix you when you're sick. 